There it is, you guys. <laughs> Our first pistol. Oh, man, that's been a long time coming. That has been such a long time coming. Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Dawn. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are um, looking for oxygen and nitrogen gas deposits. So I'm out just kind of wandering around and doing some more exploration. Uh, we are uh, basically east of our base at the moment, and I came uh, over the crest of that hill and noticed that there is um, a wrecked POI down here. And what I think are probably two more chlorine. I, I just wanted to double check and make sure they're chlorine and not oxygen because oxygen's blue, so it could look similar to it. Uh, but let's check this place out and see if there's anything to see here or loot or whatever. Um, so I don't think um, this stuff is... Oh, abandoned. We got more meteorites coming in. Just one this time? The game is, um, the game seems to be quite generous with the, the meteorites. Uh, I don't know. So, okay, let's look in here. Nothing in the abandoned hopper. Okay. So is this, like, supposed to be an old mining facility or something? That, that looks like a, a ruined airlock or something. All right. Is there anything in here? Oh, for Pete's sake. That they overdo it a little bit on the fall damage. <laughs> um, okay, well I guess that's it for here. This looks like a drill. But I don't see anything else here that I, that's lootable other than this the hopper, which of course didn't have anything in it this time. Uh okay, we better deal with our hydration issue. We got plenty of um our blueberries here. So we'll just get that topped off and then in the usual fashion we'll eat some meat to counter the health issue and get our nutrition all the way up. Uh, I got lots of the the small bandages too so we'll uh, take one of those just so we're pretty much topped off. Okay I'm pretty sure these are gonna be chlorine deposits. What? Yeah that's chlorine so that one probably is too. So, um, yeah, so we don't really need to mark those because we have two right next to our base. Unless they have a finite amount of, um, you know, of gas in them and then run out and don't respond. But, I mean, everything seems to respond in this game, so I'm not really too worried about that. Okay, well, I'm going to continue looking for um, the oxygen, the nitrogen, and we still need to find the uh, new Dawn base, too. I still have not come across that, and I'm not sure exactly where it is but we will find it eventually so uh, i'm just going to keep wandering around and i'll bring you guys back uh here in a little while when uh, something significant happens all right see you in a bit bye all right guys um i have been continuing to explore i think i've been pretty much in the far north and the far west and now we're kind of heading back south e south and east and i came across this uh area with a bunch of red trees and I believe that this is where the alpha mine is located in fact I think that's it right there excuse me we're not going to go into the alpha mine today um because um we'll we'll probably we'll do that in a, a dedicated episode since this is supposed to be the hardest to mine um but it is interesting that we found this place I wonder if there are uh, other types of geysers. I think both of those are hydrogen, but I'm not sure. They'd look whiter and not so much yellow. Uh, we're going to have some enemies over here, too. Let's take a look. Ah, nitrogen. Excellent. Okay. We needed to find that. Um, so, yeah. Now, the only thing left that we need to find is oxygen. Um, okay, yeah. We're going to have to fight these dudes. So, the... Uh, it's, it's a little easier for me to fight the smaller guys in first person, even though the hitbox is still massively screwed up. Uh, so let's... Um, oh, by the way, I've, I've filled all of my barrels with hydrogen, and I have two barrels back at the base with chlorine so we can make rubber and plastic. And I'm, I think hydrogen is the one that we 
need to, to use the most. Um, so I'll probably fill my large gas tank with that first. So I'm assuming these are all nitrogens then, right? Yeah, so the nitrogen is kind of a white, whitish gas. And this is south. It's basically south southwestish from our base. So I don't think I need to mark the coordinates of here because we could probably, you know, it, I, we should be able to find it without too much difficulty. Um, all right, so I don't have any any barrels with me right now to get nitrogen, so we'll we'll just get that later. But let's go over here. Uh, we'll kill these bad guys and get the the scrap. Um, let's see what. Yeah, see we're we're also at eighty five. Whoa, shit. 85 weight anyway, so. All right, he's dead. And it's also getting dark, too, so we should probably think about heading back. I'm not quite as apprehensive, I guess is the word, about being out at night now that, you know, we have the machete and we can fight a little bit better, but I still, you know, I still want to be careful, though, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So let's um, hydrate with some blueberries. I need to harvest some more of these. Oh, also, I noticed that Seek medical assistance in you can actually eat the, the ferns. They actually give you food. So let's just eat those up. Okay, cool. So we have full health there. Um, and then we'll just use the little bandages. I've got more materials to make more of these, but that's something I can do, like, you know, when we're hanging out at the base at night. All right. Um... I think I'm going to put my light on, too, for you guys, just because it's getting kind of dark. And uh, there were some enemies kind of right up over that ridge, but let's go ahead and uh, get this scrap here. I still have not found the New Dawn base. I'm guessing it's either going to be to the south or, or to, the, to the west. Or, wait, to the west, east? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I think I've mostly been north and west. So, yeah, it's probably going to be to the south or the east. All right, guys, we're back and uh, ready to build the habitation frame. Um, I'm having a problem with my weapon not working in third person. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Let's see if it'll work now. Okay, now it is, um, but I actually, I was actually killed um, overnight because I was fighting um, some monsters and the damn weapon wouldn't work in third person. And as a result, I, I was killed. <clears throat> and I noticed something. It seems like when you die, dropping. the uh, game gives you a free pick, or no, a free chisel and a free... Uh, combat knife. Um, so I have a new chisel, a new combat knife. I'm probably gonna throw those out because I think that's a little, a little cheaty. Because I I have uh, drop everything on death configured. Are you? What the hell are you gonna do? Whoop. So yeah, it's it's really weird. Um, I keep. Um, I keep manual backups of all of my YouTube games, you know, in case a major bug happens or something like that. And I've even, I've had that happen a few times now. So I've actually reloaded a couple of different times, uh, re, uh, loaded the manual save, um, because of that. And there was some other really bad glitch I had earlier. I can't remember what it was. Um, so, and I noticed something too, and I don't know if this is, Oh, shit. I don't know if this is what, why, but it seems like when I do that, it resets the the days go, uh, going by in the game. See, my... It's not working again. It's, it's totally not working. I'm not... I don't think I'm missing. Here, let's pop a bandage really quick because he's hurting us. Let's try one more time. See, it's not, it's not hitting him. It should be hitting him. Um, so it hurts. It hits in first person, but it doesn't hit in third person. Yeah, you better run. 
All right, where's that Minotaur? So anyway, um, I'm I'm very underwhelmed with the melee in this game, and it's it's not it it could be fun, it could be actually really enjoyable, but the hitboxes are just so screwed up. Okay, we got got those guys out of the way. All right. Anyway, yeah. So, uh, you know, uh, this is episode six, and we're still and we're level fifteen, but we're still on on soul one, uh, or day one essentially. Oh crap! And uh, I think I I don't know this for sure, or maybe it's just an, a bug in the game, but I think that has happened when I've reloaded my manual saves a few times. Um, so I'm going to maybe not do that unless the, the reason I would reload the manual save too, is because if there's something, you know, corrupted in the save, but it's really, you know, the game is just so buggy in general that it's really kind of hard to say one way or the other. Um, so we'll just keep going, you know, for now without reloading the manual save, unless something really disastrous happens. I mean, technically if I, my character dies to a bug, and I mean that both literally and figuratively, <laughs> um, well, no, it, 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 if I die to a game bug, I should be able to reload because that was, you know, that wasn't fair, but whatever. It, I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, I don't think, as far as I know, I don't think death has any consequences other than you have to, you know, run back and get your crap, but any hoozle. All right, let's, uh, let's get back to business here. Um, so what we want to do is go uh, to structures and grab our habitat. And I'm going to have the opening face this way. And I want, you know, I want it to be more or less in the center of this long valley so we can build, you know, long ways. And I think we'll have enough room. I'm going to hold it in close to the tank. Well, actually, that might not be advantageous in the long run. I think I'm just going to kind of put it right in the center. And we should have enough room to branch out from the sides too, like with um, a barracks and a hydroponics uh, bay at some point. I wish the thing wouldn't bounce around. I mean, I'm holding my mouse completely still and it, it bounces around. There's no reason for that that I can think of. Uh, I'm also going to build up high just so we have plenty of ground clearance. I don't think we'll have a problem with that, but let's just do it anyway. And boom. Yeah, the whole bouncing around thing, unless that's not intended. If it is intended, why? <laughs> it, it adds nothing to the game, the gameplay value uh, to do that. It's just irritating because if you want to precisely play something, then it makes it a pain in the butt. Hmm. I just thought of something. I wonder if I got that a little too close because I think the airlock's going to come out to here. Well, as long as we can still move through here, I guess we'll be okay. I can always move this too because that's portable. Okay, next thing we need to do. Actually, I wanted to... I wanted to try something here. Can we actually put down a fabricator here without finishing the walls? Can I go to here and build this without finishing the walls? And the reason I would do that is so that I can get my gun made. I'm still going to finish the walls, of course, but... Um, F3 furniture fabricator. Uh, yeah, uh, it's not it's not letting me activate it because probably because the walls are not finished. Okay, well, it was worth a try. <laughs> Let me try it one more time. Yeah, this should be popping up and letting me build it, but it's not because. Because there's no walls, I'm guessing. All right, well, then that means the next thing we should do is work on getting an airlock. It maybe has to be pressurized before it will let us build that. That's my guess. Uh, so an airlock requires one more steel and some copper. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to pick this up. Um, there's no way to repair this either. It just stays fully damaged, but it doesn't seem to affect anything. So, yeah, that's kind of weird. All right. Let's hold this 
further back. Uh, it's not going to let me put it in between the rocks. Doggone it. I'm, I'm trying to use it so it'll block mobs from that side. Well, this will still block all but maybe the smallest ones. So yeah, I, that should work. Let's actually tap that too so we can get some health and some save. This is... The, actually, you know what? This isn't too bad because it just leads us right down into our little work area. And, um... You know, I could... I could put a couple of stone walls here for now, and maybe one here, and then we're, we'd actually be, you know, fairly well protected. Because the mobs don't seem to damage the equipment. I've never noticed them damage the equipment. It just, uh, which is a little hokey. I mean, they should, I think. Because otherwise, why bother with walls? You can just use equipment for walls. But that's the way the game's working now, so we're gonna that's the way we're gonna do it for now. Okay, so four. Um I think we want normal walls. And to do normal walls, we're gonna need steel and rubber. Um we also are gonna wanna put I think we're going to expand that way, and probably that way, and maybe this way. So, that means we're going to want to put uh, the the coupler thingamadoodles. So that's steel, aluminum, rubber, and titanium. So that's a little more expensive. Maybe what we do is we don't put any couplers on for now, uh, and I'll just put walls on and then you know later on when we're ready to expand we'll just take the walls down I know we'll lose a little bit of material but this is going to require three steel and titanium um, in order to do and aluminum whereas if we just do normal walls it's just two steel and rubber yeah I think that's you know I think that's what we should do okay so everything's just going to be normal walls uh, for now um, normal wall normal here we go Okay. Okay, that's our first normal wall. Oh man, it doesn't it doesn't stay on on that. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna have to make quite a bit of steel. So how many Unable to pressurize? Well why can't I Oh, oh, we got to do... Okay, so we got to also do this, too. Oh, right, okay. Wide pressure wall. So that's going to require um, iron and aluminum, uh, which we have. So I guess we might as well do this first, because we can't use this until this is done. Anyway, so let's do this first. It's weird, you know, the game says, when you're building something, it says hold down the the button, right? The F button or the trigger. But if you let go of it, then it just builds it automatically. So that's, I don't know, that doesn't make much sense for it to either. <laughs> uh, but here again, that could just be a bug. Hard to say. And, you know, just for the record, you guys, when you, if you hear me complain about stuff, I'm not really complaining so much as I'm just... Uh, you know, pointing out what some of the issues are. Um, it's not that I'm not enjoying the game. I'm actually having a lot of fun playing this. A lot more fun than I thought I was going to. Uh, so it's not that. It's just, you know, it, it sucks, but it doesn't mean the game sucks itself, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, all right. So let's see. We need some water. So let's grab what we have out of here. No, I've been filling my... Shut up. I'm working on it. I've been... Uh, filling my my liquid tank with water. Um, yeah, that got us all the way back. Okay, let's just grab a a little bit more here. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna have to go harvest a crap ton of iron in order to finish this. And 
I think I'm just going to repeatedly hit the beta mine over and over. Hopefully the third person works with the weapon. And um, at some point, you know, when I get that done, I will bring you guys back and we'll continue working on our habitat. Okay, so I'll be back in a bit. Hey guys, look what I found in the beta mine. Three freaking diamonds in this crate. That's a, that's a really good find because uh, diamonds are supposed to be quite rare. Um, yeah, so <laughs> this is my actually my first run in here too. And open up that crate and there were the diamonds. That is fan freaking tastic, man. Um, I know I know we need diamonds for um for the assault rifle. I don't know how many we need, but hopefully um that is all we need and then man, we're going to be in really good shape. So yeah, this is just my first run in here. I just finished clearing the place except for I usually get ambushed by th three or more mobs that come out of the wall, like right here. And they haven't come out yet, so I'm just a little apprehensive about, <laughs> you know, when they're going to come out. Um, let's go back over here and see if... I, I don't know what triggers them coming out, or maybe it's just totally or a random thing. Uh, I've cleared all the other mobs except for one that got stuck in the wall in the front room there. So, anyway, okay, I guess we'll just... Uh, I guess we'll just keep keep on keeping on here, but I just wanted to bring you guys back real quick and show you that we got those three diamonds, which is really lucky, man. Uh, very happy about that. So, okay, well, I'm going to keep working away here. Um, I've also kind of lucked out and uh, just straight up looted from some crates. I'm still a little apprehensive. Uh, we got eight steel just from crates alone, uh, plus a little bit of iron, you know, from crates too. So this has actually been a really good run so far. Um, so I'm just going to keep, you know, keep on keeping on here and keep mining. And at some point I'll bring you guys back uh, when we're ready to work on the, um, the habitat. Okay, see you in a bit. Holy crap, you guys. This is my second trip into the beta mine and I got three more diamonds. <laughs> I can't believe how lucky I'm getting with these. Oh my goodness. Um, while I have you here too, you'll notice that I went ahead and decided to give a try uh, or give the conduit bender a try because um, you guys were telling me in the comments uh, to do it. Plus, I've, no I've noticed other YouTubers using it. And I have to say, yeah, uh, <laughs> I agree. This is a superior weapon and a superior mining weapon. Um, this is way faster than the chisel and it packs a punch so yeah i mean it's, it's kind of too bad because you would think you know a machete should be better than a conduit bender but at the way the game currently is right now this thing kicks ass man both for as a weapon and for mining so yeah you've made a believer out of me uh but anyway oh my gosh so we have six diamonds now is that lucky or what uh we only need two diamonds for uh for for the assault rifle too so you know, I mean, I might just go right to the assault rifle um, instead of the pistol. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, the pistol, I'm assuming, is going to be cheaper on ammo. So we might, you know, we're, we might make both, but we definitely are going to make the assault rifle now. So anyway, um, yeah, just wanted to show you the diamonds and also show you that we are now using um, this conduit bender and oh my goodness I should have been doing this from the start but you know what <laughs> better late than never right okay guys well it's just business as usual going through the mine um, getting as many or as much ore as we can iron is what we need more than anything else of course which doesn't surprise me because that's usually the case in these games anyways um, and then you know when I have enough to uh, finish the habitat I'll bring you back um, I probably won't bring you back if I find even more diamonds um, just because, you know, we've done it twice now, so you, you get the idea. But, yeah, lucky, man. Six diamonds in this run. So, okay, um, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we are back. Um, I made, I don't know, maybe a couple more trips into the beta mine. And we now have a full stack of iron and then some. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look and see what we got here. So we have, um, I have 24 iron ingots in there. And then... I've been putting like full stacks of stuff in here. So we have a full stack of iron in there. And let's see, what else did we need to finish the airlock? We have two more uh, things here. Oh, we need aluminum too. Okay. So let's go grab aluminum. I also have uh, over a full stack of that now as well, which is cool. 
Uh, let's get rid of this. Uh, I started taking the barrels and turning those into steel too because I just get too many of them. Um, and I got a whole bunch of glass containers and I ended up just tossing a bunch of those because I, I can't see um, what else you can do with them. Uh, so we, you know, I've got somewhere in here. Yeah, I've got four extras in there. Um, but, you know, at some point, uh, same with the cloth too. I mean, at some point we just, we get so much of that stuff. I hate to throw stuff out, but on the other hand, you know, enough is enough, right? <laughs> so I, it's, the, the thing is, is I'm not entirely sure what I might need later on. So I don't, uh, I don't want to just throw, start throwing stuff out like crazy, but. Ah, oh, freaking dust storm. All right, well, let's go in here and see if we can get this done. Yeah, so guys, this is it's not supposed to be this way, but if, if you just click once and then click one more time, it just automatically builds. You don't actually have to hold the thing down. Uh, so it's not I don't it's not supposed to be that way, but that's the way it is, though. So. Uh, okay, so airlock is working. Um, now for these walls. For normal walls, we need steel and rubber. Okay, so let's go back out here. Oh, the other thing too is I got my camp pretty much in uh, all the way enclosed. So, with maybe the exception of the parasite, the really small guy, uh, nothing else can now get in here. Which means, you know, if I'm working on my stuff, nothing's going to sneak up behind me, which works out pretty good. Uh, it looks like too, maybe we're low enough. Uh, and if it, okay, so if you crouch, you take less damage too. So, but I think we're kind of low enough that the storm's not, you know, we're not feeling the full force of the storm. So I think we're okay, even if we do take a little tap here and there. Okay, so now we need rubber and steel. I got 11 of those and 30 steel that we've made. So let's just see how far we can get. Uh, with those things, and then if we have to make more, then we can do that. All right, so let's get down here, and we want a normal wall, and again, just click once, click twice, and then it builds it, so there's no point in holding it down. All right, let's go back up through here. All right, and then we'll do this wall, and like I said, I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to put any of the couplers in now. We'll, we'll do that later because they're actually more expensive. And I'm not planning on expanding anytime real soon. I mean, we will fairly soon, but not like immediately. So I just want to be as conservative as possible with the resources. Now, I know we'll, you know, we won't get our full resources back when we do put the couplers in, but that's okay. I'm willing to make that compromise just so I can get these walls up quickly now so that we can get our fabricator so that we can finally make our gun. Okay, and then uh, we, I want to do the skylight, so we need glass and iron ingots for that. Okay. Boom! We now have ourselves, ladies and gentlemen, a habitat. Oh, man. <clears throat> That's awesome. That took some, took some doing, but we got her done. All right, now... Very next thing on the list here is, of course, the uh, fabricator. Uh, so what do we need? We need aluminum and some plastic, and that, and we're good. I've got all that stuff. Let's go back out and get some plastic here. Here we go. All right. So um, let's take a look inside of here. And for circuit boards, we need gold, lithium, and plastic. And for wire, we need rubber, copper, and gold. Very good. Okay. Uh, we can handle all of those things. And then the pistol needs... So the pistol needs one circuit board and five wire. Okay. So rubber, copper, gold, lithium, plastic. Gotcha. I think we're going to need to make some more rubber... Uh, so let's do that first. Uh, we'll grab this hydrogen and this chlorine. And let's let's just queue up a couple of those. Oh, and carbon. Yeah, see who can't get to me, sucker. I, well, I don't think he can get to me. Uh, 
He looks like... Looks like he is attacking. Is he doing damage, though? Oh, yeah. He is doing some damage to the rock walls, isn't he? What are, can he, like, completely break them? He, he doesn't seem to damage equipment. Just... Just the walls, maybe? Here. Unless these... You're headed again. I... I don't know. I don't think he is damaging them. They're, they're, these are damaged for some other reason, which I have no idea. Maybe they just wear out over time, perhaps? Okay. All right, well, here, let's just go kill him anyway, because he's going to be a pain in the butt otherwise. Come at me, bro. This guy's tough. Uh, here, let's, um, let's grab a big bandage. Give ourselves a little bit of room here. A couple small bandages too. Alright. Good god, this guy's tough. Oh, he's a level 5 soldier crab, so I guess that's, uh... That's why. <laughs> Shit. Okay, that's, that is the toughest crab I've fought so far, giant crab. I want to look, look at these walls again, though. Yeah, I, there, there must have been some other reason why those walls were damaged. None of these walls are damaged. Oh, this one is. That is weird, man. What would be causing that? Hmm. I don't know. All right, what were we doing? Uh, making rubber. Okay, so we need carbon, which we, we probably have more carbon than almost anything else just because there's so much of it in the mine. Um, okay, so let's make uh, two stacks of that, and I'm going to make a little more plastic, too. Okay, and so we'll put these back in here whilst we're waiting. Crab eyes in here. I made two more uh, furnaces, as you can see, just to get, you know, more water production. Now, let's grab uh, this stuff. And let's see, we also needed copper and gold. And was it... Uh, I don't remember what the other thing was. Um, let's go look. Copper, gold. And, oh, and two lithium. Okay, so um, this needs how many wires? Five wires. One, two, three, four, five. And then let's go grab some lithium. And uh, one circuit board. Okay, we got all of our wires and we got our circuit board. What's left? Uh, we need two lead, two batteries, and two titanium. There it is, you guys. Ha <laughs> ha! Our first pistol. Oh man, that's been a long time coming. That has been such a long time coming. All right, we're going to have to go test it out in beta mine real quick before I let you guys go. Let's put all this stuff back in here. Um, that can go back in there. Now, I have a full stack of, of pistol ammo in uh, some, somewhere in here. Wait. Yeah, a full stack in there, and then we have a few more in there, too, you know, that we've just looted. Okay, so the chisel... I don't see any reason to keep this anymore, you guys. I really don't, because that conduit bender kicks ass uh, for mining and for for other stuff. So let me know. Uh, I'm going to hang on to it for, for now, but let me know in the comments, if you would, if, if I should be hanging on to this for any reason whatsoever. And I guess you could say the same thing for the tactical knife, too. Let's go here, put this here, and repair. There we go. And now, so what we're going to do is we're going to keep, we're going to put the pistol in slot number two. And is this loaded? 
It is not. All right, now here's the thing um, about this game, and it's it's going to be really hard for me to deal with this because I'm so used to just automatically reloading after enemies are dead. So you're you know you're ready to go. So and the R key is you know the the standard reload key. So what I'm gonna do so I don't impulsively hit this is I'm gonna change the reload key to something that's not. I'm not just going to hit without having to think about it, right? Wait, replace. Oh, we'll make that the O key. I don't know if O was assigned to something else or not. Because, you know, the O key is far enough away from, you know, the normal position on the keyboard that um, I'm, I won't, you know, I'm going to hit R a million times, but that way it's not going to, you know, reload unless I intend to do so. I, I kind of don't like that, though, because... You know, then you're relying upon the game to either auto-reload it for you when you run out. Um, or, you know, you run out at the worst possible moment. So you can't, you know, you can't um, prepare in advance. But, you know, it's just the way the game works. So we're going to have to deal with that. So what do we have? Five? We missed that. We have six shots per per magazine. Okay. So let's just run into beta mine really quick. Whoa. And, um... Give, give this guy a quick test run and then I'll, I'll let you guys go. Oh man, I'm so glad we have this now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a crap ton of ammo off camera. Um, just so we, we per, can pretty much just fire as to our heart's content. Well, not that crazy, but, uh, so we don't have to worry about how much ammo we have. Let's put it that way. Um, what? Oh, okay. All right, so I only have one shot left. I'll worry about picking up all the loot skis later. Well, you know what, though? Let's check the... Let's at least check these because we might find some more diamonds, man. I found a total of six diamonds in here, uh, which is pretty damn lucky. It's a little laggy in this place for me, I've noticed. I wonder if it's the, my light that does it. I don't really notice that outside, but... All right. Way to miss, old guy. Whoa, that guy's tough. You know, I've I've had I've had a lot of trouble killing these monkey scorpion guys. He's only a level three, but they've given me some trouble almost more than anything else has. Yeah, it's it's a little bit framey in here. All right, come here, you bastard. Do headshots matter in this game? Does anybody know that? Let me know in the comments if they do. Okay, well... This is definitely much better. <laughs> it's so much nicer than having to do melee. Whoa! You scared me. Okay. Uh, we got three shots left. So, so far I'm... I'm actually remembering not to reload. Not that it matters, because if I don't think about it, I'm going to hit R and it's not going to hurt anything anyway. Whoa, shit! You tricky son of a... That's not what you were supposed to do. Let's stay, take a couple bandages here. Let's grab some ammo out of here. Hey! Here we go! Oh shit! Reload! Dead. Dead. No, not dead. Okay, that Elida guy was, was pretty tough, actually. Alright, let's check these crates here. I didn't check the crates in the other room, too, so we should do that. Getting a lot of lithium and plutonium from this place, man, which is good. Plus, you get it from the asteroids. So, you get it in abundance. 
Some more ammo there. Some more food. All right. Like I said, I'll get the I'll get the minerals after I let you guys go. We won't worry about that right now. But I do want to check these because this is where. Ouch! You can find the diamonds if you are lucky. So I guess this is the best cave for diamonds. Um, because it's got the most crates, but you can also apparently find diamonds in the alpha cave too, which we might actually go ahead and do in the next episode since we have our gun now. Uh, where'd you go, you son of a... He's kind of behind the thing there. He might have... He might have glitched and... Oh, no, there he is. Okay, let's check these two crates. And there we go. All right, so we've checked all the crates. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and let you go here. And I'm, since I'm here, I might as well... Uh, you know, mine everything that's in here, and then I think what I'm going to do is make a whole bunch of ammo clips um, off camera, and then in the next episode, why don't we go ahead and plan on going into the Alpha Mine? Uh, so that is what is on the agenda. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.